Hey everyone, I realize it's been a long time since I posted a video, so I wanted to do a quick update before I talk about the project. I've been taking a hiatus of spending time with my family, especially my two little ones, just kind of taking a break. I, uh, I kind of wore myself out a little bit and I'm learning to rest instead of burning myself out, which is what I did couple months ago. So I'm sorry that it's been so long since I posted anything, but I'm getting ready. I've got a lot of new ideas. I'm getting ready to come back and start posting videos again, doing my live streams again. Uh, and th that'll be, that'll be soon. But I wanted to give you guys this quick project and talk a little bit about, um, simplicity. So sometimes I struggle with just continuing to work on a piece, like adding tons of detail and making things really complicated. And sometimes that's fine. You know, there's, there are a lot of pieces that I do that, that need a lot of detail and, and take a lot of steps and a lot of um, different techniques. But every once in a while, I think it's important to kind of step back and just do something really simple. You know, whether it's, you know, no color, very little paint. I mean, in this piece, I'm just using ink, some gesso and chipboard pieces on a surface that I've stamped just a little bit. And that's it. Just very, very few, very few things. There's no color. It's all just black and white. In fact, this painting the chipboard is the step that, that took the longest, just because I wanted it to be white and not, um, I wanted it to be the same color as the canvas. So it didn't take me very long. This is a really simple project that I was able to just kind of, of piece together. But, but I think sometimes those are the strongest pieces, the, the pieces that don't require a lot of energy to, to take in, to look at. They can have a really profound impact. And I think the visual of this one, the symbolism behind it, you know, the clock, the time, the gears, the mess of splatters, I think is really powerful because it's so simplistic. There's no colors. There's, there's very little detail to distract. It's a pretty small piece. So I think it's important to do those pieces sometimes, or at least the ones that we struggle with. I mean, you might not struggle with simplicity. Maybe that's what you're really strong with and, and adding details is maybe something that's more of a struggle for you, but whatever is a weak point in our art practice, I think is important to practice and to, to think about. So what do you guys do? What, when there's something in your art practice that is, is a struggle for you that consistently you have a hard time with, are there techniques that you use or things that you do to kind of help you overcome those things? I'd love to hear your comments and, uh, your suggestions, your questions. Yeah. Just keep them coming. I want to say thank you to, to everyone that comments on my videos. It, I often go back and I'll reread comments and they really help me to kind of stay motivated and to remember kind of the passion behind what I do. Sometimes when I'm in the daily grind of changing diapers and running errands, it is hard for me to remember. So thank you so much to those who, who leave comments and and talk about their own art and things like that because it really helps me. So thank you again. Please subscribe and, and uh, like this video if you'd like to see more content and I will see you in the next video.